At a time when a number of Southeast Asian countries are in discussions to procure the Akash air defense system from India, the Cabinet Committee on Security chaired by Prime Minister Modi has approved the export of the Akash air defense system, and a committee has also been created for faster approvals. The Akash missile has achieved a level of more than 96% indigenization, and officials have said that the export version will be different from systems currently deployed by the Indian Armed Forces. This development is seen as a big step to achieve the export target of $5 billion by 2025. In a significant development, Indonesian fishermen have found an underwater drone of the Chinese Navy, in a region that is far from Chinese waters, and this find is close to two potential routes between the South China Sea and the Indian Ocean. Experts have said that Chinese Navy might be gathering extremely valuable intelligence like depth temperature and salinity in Lombok Strait and the Sunda Strait, as China is searching for potential submarine routes into the Indian Ocean through Indonesian waters. Officials have said that a series of military user tests and developmental trials have been planned for 2021, including the test of 5,000 km range AD-1 and AD-2 interceptors of Phase 2 of the Ballistic Missile Defense Shield, from DRDO's floating test range, the trials of indigenously developed air independent propulsion system in the first quarter of 2021, 1,000 km range near Bay Cruise Missile in January 2021, full-fledged testing of Rustam-2 unmanned aerial vehicle in February 2021, as well as a number of missiles including the 800 km range Brahmos extended variant in June 2021, and 350 km range Exasam air defense system by the end of 2021. The Indian Air Force chief has said that China had deployed large number of radar systems surface-to-air and surface-to-surface -surface missiles and other aerial platforms in the eastern Ladakh region, but the counter-actions taken by the Indian armed forces have ensured that the Chinese military have stopped in their tracks. He also said that the Chinese army has been focusing on developing new capabilities and expanding foreign military bases to counter the global dominance of the US, and it could lead to security implications for India. He also said that Pakistan getting access to Turkish technology could pose a challenge, as well as strengthening of military alliances between China, Pakistan, Iran and Turkey can lead to security implications for India. He also strongly pitched to procure indigenous platforms to maintain a technological edge, as the long wait in arrival of the imported ones might become obsolete by the time they are delivered. The Indian Institute of Technology Hyderabad has established a new technology innovation center for autonomous navigation for unmanned aerial vehicles and remotely operated vehicles, after a funding of 135 crore rupees from the central government, and the hub will focus on the research and development of new technologies for unmanned autonomous vehicles for aerial and ground applications. The RDO Young Scientist Laboratory for Quantum Technologies has developed a quantum random number generator, which detects random quantum events and converts them into a stream of binary digits. Generation of unpredictable random numbers have essential roles in many fields, such as quantum communication, cryptographic applications, scientific simulations and experiments. The central government has allotted land to the Indo-Tibetan border police for establishing a new headquarter in Delhi. The ITBP is also preparing to raise seven new battalions comprising 10,000 soldiers to guard the sensitive northern borders, bringing up the total strength to 1 lakh soldiers. Oh, my